Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So I again welcome you all to Programming Knowledge. So this is the 27th tutorial of our Django series. So let's get started with this tutorial. So uh, uh, guys, this is the link of my GitHub repository. You can download or clone this repository. I have defined below the instructions how you can run this project on your local machine. So let's get started with the tutorial. So these are some basic instructions I've mentioned. Uh, I have uh, also given an overview on these instructions in my previous video. You can check them out. So let's get started with the tutorial. So we basically uh, first uh, what we are going to do. So uh, first I'll clear this. Okay. So uh, first I'll run my server python manage.py run server okay so basically we are we were working on progress bar and we were supposed to add progress bar so in this tutorial today we are going to add a dynamic progress bar uh, like it till the previous tutorial we had a, uh, we had added the added a responsive table now we are going to add a progress bar so in this tutorial we are going to add a dynamic progress bar and see how we generate count of votes using progress bar so this is what we are going to do in this tutorial so let's get started with it so basically so i'll move to my server i'll run my server okay so uh, uh to, to navigate to the voting app i'll type slash voting app okay so so here's our app so we have a result table so what we can do we will make a, a first uh, first let's uh, add a complete our table then we will move to the progress bar quickly so this is the table okay so uh thus we have to add a scope so basically we have added a table so we had to uh, we have to add a scope so we shall do table header so basically we are first going to define the table header so this is the table header we are going to define then we are going to define the table body okay so this is uh, this all is the header part and this all is the body part okay so let's get started so we have to add we have to add a class call uh, uh, in the scope then we'll make the header okay so let's this is so uh, make sure this is uh, here you can see uh, there is a single row so i'll quickly explain this this is table then header then a row now we have to define the all the so this is table header is scope is equal to call then id or you can uh, uh, say anything hash id number so let it be this then again table head scope is equal to call then language okay language then what we are going to define table header scope is equal to call then count of words okay simply i'll type count here and uh, so now i'll refresh the page here so here you can see i have a language number language and count so i'll uh, press control shift i so here you can see it is responsive in nature okay so i have a, a number language and count okay so this works fine so what we are going to do so first uh, now next we are going to do is uh, 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 add data okay so we are going to add data row wise so particularly what we are going to do this is the table row okay so so first is the table data this again a table data so this corresponds to the first number then language then this is going to be progress bar okay so so for this what we can do uh, so basically we have to add this all this dynamically so what i'm going to do and for so basically i'm going to add a for loop here so for loop percent for okay so basically i'll move to my use.py file uh, so we are rendering a uh, index.html using global count okay so global count here is a dictionary type data structure 
so basically what we have to do for key comma value this could be any variable name for key comma value in global count dot items okay so this would iterate in this way that first we are going to have the key then the value in global count dot items so this would do okay and now uh, i'll do key then for this one value okay and for this i'll say for loop dot counter so this way i'll add for loop for loop dot counter so i'll refresh the page okay so this works fine so let me test this i'll make a uh, language php so here, here, here you can see number one language count one okay so let me do java and i have okay uh, i have some issue here the row is not coming properly okay i had to put all this inside a table row okay so now this should work fine when i refresh this page so i i hit the this url java so the count should become 2 okay yeah now it's perfectly fine now i have language php count 1 java lang count 2 let me add python here okay so here you can see even the dictionary is updated here uh, uh, i'll uh, hit the uh, route again python is 3 here you can see 3 then 4 so here you can see here the python is 4 so this looks good so we'll now add the progress bar so for the progress bar what we need to do okay so we can like these are the progress bar so we can uh, i'll quickly give an overview on, on the progress bar so so here you can see the uh, there's a background multiple bar stripe bars animated so you can use uh, uh, like uh, use any so even here you can see toggle animation okay so here it is moving pro uh, little bit of moving stripes okay uh, here you can see this is a, again a class of stripe colors in which you have blue green warning danger so here you can see like uh, we added the same classes on on the button as well danger warning info uh, corresponding to the colors okay so let's add uh, a progress bar here so let's take this one okay so to basically in the part of value we are going to add a progress bar so i'll split this uh, td table data now i'll paste the code here yeah so now uh, so uh, basically i'll refresh the page but right now there is no such dynamic count so everything is full so i'll make it dynamic so what you need to do so to uh, like uh, so basically here you can see i have a diff class is to progress uh, i'll quickly show you one thing i'll press control u so it would show how i rendered the code so this was a where is the table bar yes here it is the table bar so here is here the data is being coming dynamically table data is one then language php table data php then progress bar and uh, like this is the again coming dynamically so i would show you one thing if i inspect element okay and let me show you another another view uh, laptop okay so here you can see this is the style uh can you sh uh, sh see the difference uh, if i reduce the width 60% the width has been reduced okay specifically i am uh, referring to the where my cursor is pointer so when i reduce to 50 it almost becomes half yes it is half now uh, then again the way i am reducing the uh, width the progress also reduces itself okay okay so this is good so now what, what we can do so so basically what i want to tell you that style should have the value here value okay and even 
here you can type value so this should show the value in numbers at the progress bar okay so let me refresh this page so here you can see i have one count two count six okay so let me add few more in php php okay so basically now you can see two okay and now i'll repeatedly hit hit this url okay so here you can see this ha this has become three okay now five six then again right then just yes, seven yes same in the same way okay the same goes for the python i'll make a submission yeah here you can see the python has seven now okay so now eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen okay nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen okay so this looks pretty good so even uh, next functionality we will try to uh, we will try to add that if you like if you now you are seeing like these are the count of words and there if there are so many languages let me add some another the c so c will have one count of word okay then uh, again uh, let me do python again or java php uh, c++ okay if you want to compare these languages and if you want to sort them according to the count like if you want to see uh, among among there are 10 languages and if you want to see top 3 so how we can sort them so i'll tell you how we can sort them so in the next tutorial i'll catch you in the next tutorial so thank you guys thank you so much